we need to have more women in the top positions in our organizations. Yeah. We need women that shape those organizations and they adapt to the needs of women. Now is the moment and I invite you to join our organizations, to change our organizations for the future because we are women, we are powerful and we want to change this world. It feels good to be a leader because you can see that you can change things. I joined a network of women and we really, over the years, I mean, we really managed in the end in a very male-dominated industrial union to have a quota. It took us two goals. The first we lost, so we analyzed what did we do wrong maybe. It took the first steps to get there, meaning having the courage to stick out your hand and to do it. This concept is very diffused where la leadership di una grande organizzazione sociale come di un partito venga in qualche modo impersonificata dal segretario generale, dal leader del partito, credo che al contrario noi dobbiamo abituarci ad una leadership diffusa. Eh, nella CISR noi abbiamo migliaia di leader. Ogni nostro delegato sul posto di lavoro è leader per i suoi compagni, le sue compagne di lavoro, ogni nostro segretario su un territorio, in una zona, in una regione, in una categoria, a tutti i livelli. To become a leader, it uh, takes you a lot of work, a lot of hard work. Being a leader means like that you actually have to show them the way forward and uh, fight for their rights, to speak for those who can't speak for it themselves. And I think that this is, uh, this is something really emotional as well and uh, a real challenge for some people to, to be there for the others. For me, leadership uh, is fundamentally about leading people and your organization towards a common goal. Uh, to see the qualities and the potential in people you work together with and try to, to use all the competences as uh, uh, much as possible to, to uh, achieve the goals. And sometimes during the years I have been thinking, am I good enough? Uh, am I qualified enough for, for this role? But uh, thanks to uh, my passion uh, and also some courage, um, and together with the people who have uh, uh, trusted me and believed in me, uh, I am where I am today. As a woman, I have always made sure that uh, whatever the issue is, that I link in very strongly with the people whom I'm representing, that I develop an empathy, that I understand the case they are making. Now, that actually has been useful to me throughout my career, uh, having moved up through the trade union movement, uh, and now at the top where you're advocating on more general uh, social policy issues and so on. The same rules apply. You need to be convincing in your argument. You need to have confidence in your knowledge on the subject, and you have to be confident in the advocacy. A woman probably has to seem much more competent in those skills than uh, men, but um, I think if we all acquaint ourselves with the basic rules and have confidence in the case, then we will, we will advocate well. I think that the great leaders of women that are also in the history of my organization have known to be leaders and recognized even in epoches in which era assolutamente scontato che la leadership dovesse essere maschile perché ha una straordinaria empatia con le persone che lavorano, con le condizioni di lavoro. Puoi fare appunto se hai una grande, una grande passione, una grande idea che stare da quella parte lì e stare dalla parte che... E siccome io penso che la liberazione delle donne passi attraverso la loro autonomia, autosufficienza, capacità di decisione, quindi per tanta parte anche per il lavoro penso che insieme al collettivo e al senso di giustizia l'altra cosa fondamentale sia la passione e sono molto convinta che le donne abbiano molta più passione degli uomini. On ne doit pas changer pour devenir un leader, on ne doit pas changer sa nature, on ne doit pas changer ce qu'on est. On doit simplement rester soi-même. Et il y a une expression qu'on utilise beaucoup en français, qui est que rien ne pousse à l'ombre des grands chênes, des grands arbres. Et je crois beaucoup à ça. Je pense que la place du leader, ce n'est pas d'occuper tout l'espace, 
Ce n'est pas vouloir euh, être le chef au-dessus de la mêlée, c'est euh, semer beaucoup de graines, faire grandir beaucoup de personnes. Et je pense que ça, c'est ce qui fait euh, une organisation dynamique, une organisation syndicale forte. Et moi, en tout cas, c'est le rôle que j'essaye d'avoir. Il y a tellement de femmes qui sont talentées. Et je pense aussi que, vous savez, parfois, nous devons faire ça de notre propre façon. Juste parce que nous sommes des femmes ne signifie pas que nous serons exactement les mêmes que les leaders. But I hope that we can kind of smash some of those male myths about what it means to be a leader. So I think there is room in the trade union movement for all sorts of different styles of leadership. And it is vital that women's talents are part of that mix. When women rise, all working people rise. So if you're a young woman thinking about becoming a rep in the trade union movement or going for the top job, Go for it.